Understanding, validate the claim, a guide to critical thinking. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase that you might come across in academic writing, news articles, or even in everyday conversations. Validate the claim. Understanding this phrase will not only enhance your vocabulary but also improve your critical thinking skills. So, let's get started and explore what it means to validate a claim and why it's so important. To validate means to prove the accuracy or truth of something. A claim is a statement or assertion that something is the case, typically without providing evidence or proof. Therefore, when you validate the claim, you are checking, verifying, or providing evidence to prove that the statement or assertion made is true or accurate. Validating a claim is crucial for several reasons. It helps us to distinguish fact from opinion. By validating claims, we can separate what is objectively true from what someone believes or thinks. Encourage critical thinking. This process makes us question information and not accept it at face value, leading to better informed decisions. Build stronger arguments. In academic writing or debates, validating claims strengthens our arguments and makes them more persuasive. Validating a claim involves a few key steps. 1. Research. Look for evidence from reliable sources that supports or refutes the claim. 2. Evaluate the evidence. Check the quality, relevance, and date of your sources to ensure the evidence is credible. 3. Consider counter-arguments. Be open to different perspectives and evaluate them against the claim. 4. Conclusion based on evidence. Make a reasoned judgment about the claim based on the evidence you've gathered. Let's look at a simple example. Imagine someone claims, drinking green tea increases life expectancy. To validate this claim, you would 1. Search for scientific studies or research articles on the effects of green tea on life expectancy. 2. Evaluate the credibility of these sources and the methodology of the studies. 3. Consider other factors that might affect life expectancy, such as diet, exercise, and genetics. 4. Conclude whether the evidence supports the claim or not, based on your research. We hope this video has shed some light on what it means to validate the claim, and why it's a valuable skill in both academic and everyday contexts. Remember, by validating claims, you're not just accepting information as is, you're engaging in a deeper level of thinking and understanding. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to exploring more exciting topics with you. Stay curious and keep learning. Remember, validating claims is a critical step in navigating the vast sea of information in our digital age. Practice this skill, and it will serve you well in all areas of life.